Until last week, Ali's family only used the water from this borehole for washing. Their drinking water came from a stream a kilometre away and had to be hand carried back to their village where they drank it untreated, often making them ill. But they've just received a water filtration system called a life straw. Dirty water poured in the top passes through three filters and comes out clean at the bottom. It has helped us a lot because we have reduced from going there, but we are now using this bohon for cleaning it from this life straw and we use it for drinking. During April and May, nearly 900,000 live straws were given to nearly every household in the western province of Kenya. Some, they have really saved the money. Most of them, they were, used, they were buying firewood so that they can boil their water. Others, they were really spending more money using the chemicals. So the live straw has really saved a lot, especially economically. And although the live straws are free, this isn't just about saving money for poor Kenyans or improving their health. 20. This is a business one that the owners hope will make them very rich. How? Well, the company says the live straws will mean less trees are cut down and burnt to boil water, so millions of tonnes of carbon will be stopped from being released into the atmosphere. Each tonne represents a carbon credit. That means that we will, at the end of the year, be able to sell vintage 2011 uh, carbon credits, two to two and a half million of them. Um, that has a monetary value on, uh, on the open market. Uh, we will expect to sell those anywhere between 6 to 10 euros per tonne. So in just 18 months, the company hopes to recover its initial 30 million euro investment. But first it has to prove it is saving trees. An independent auditor will do that. And if it gets the green light, it will be a win-win situation for both the company and the millions of people in western Kenya who will benefit from cleaner water.